All right, let's look at the error, failed to apply the script, usually a script using the SQL command utility. Um, this is in the context of uh, replication such as transactional replication or snapshot replication. So um, today was pretty interesting because this is the first time I've run across not this error, but what caused this error was poor syntax, um, which as those of you who know, uh, Microsoft, or I'm sorry, replication generates it. I don't generate it. Nobody degenerates it. It's actually generated by uh, Microsoft, but there was an extra go and that was causing a failure, um, which was bizarre. Normally though, and in the past I have seen where, let's say that it's set to truncate the destination table, not drop it, okay? And the source table is has changed structure, but the destination table has not. A good example would be a constraint or a primary key uh, has changed. Then if it tries to apply a script that is creating a new primary key or a new constraint on a table that doesn't have, let's say, a column or whatnot, it's going to fail, right? In other words, the source and the destination have to match. Now, you can get around that by um, selecting the option when you generate a new snapshot to drop and recreate um, the tables, which is uh, the best approach to do, um, and especially in, in transactional replication. In, in most cases, of course, then there are exceptions to that rule as well. Um, but there are definitely advantages to doing a drop and recreate if any of the schema have changed. If the schema haven't changed, fine. Okay, so the solution is go to your destination server. First of all, validate the script. If there has been a change between the two tables, you'll note it right off the bat. Um, then update the script based on your findings, okay? If it's, and this is bizarre, I've never seen this happen before, where is there's actually a syntax error, so somehow it generated an extra go, um, then just update that, right? Uh, the other thing that you can do as well, if you know that it's going to update a primary key and you see it, or it's going to update a constraint or, or whatnot, then go ahead and you can run the script and then blank out the script, right? But be careful because if it's subscribed to multiple subscribers, it's gonna affect those, okay? And then of course I say here uh, for the, the case in point where you have source and destination mismatched, definitely always check the source and destination objects when you see an error because there have been times or there are times where people will go make a change to a schema, won't tell anyone, like they'll add a column and they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna drop the primary key and I'm gonna add these three columns now. It's gonna be a posit, composite primary key. And of course you didn't know that and there you go. So this is not an error that occurs because nothing is wrong. This is an error because there is something fundamentally wrong and it might be uh, the script. But that's just a, a little troubleshooting hack to save you some time.